Hey, what's up, Daywalkers and fellow travelers of night? We have another box here of Marvel's Midnight Suns from Fleer Ultra. And this was purchased at Steel City, so I'll put a link down below if you want to check out their store. Please do and get some cards from them if you're a card collector. Or if not, check out their other memorabilia. they got a lot of cool stuff on their website. So check them out. Or if you're in the Pittsburgh area, visit them in person for sure. But this set is something we've been wanting to collect. And we went full in on the Moon Knight stuff, so we kind of passed on this set. But now that you know Blue got his Star Wars cards... I can have my Midnight Suns cards, which I'm very happy about. And this was actually purchased for us by our mom and brother. They got us birthday gifts this year of the Halo cards that they pre-ordered for us. And those cards still have not released. And the release date keeps getting pushed back or putting in to be decided. So they don't know when the release date is. And it was getting frustrating waiting for them. So my mom was like, you know what? Why don't you just take that store credit and put it towards something you actually want to open right now? And she, I said, well, I just opened a box of Midnight Suns. I've wanted to open more. I think I'll just do that because they don't do refunds, which is fine. That's okay. But we were like, all right, let's apply this towards another box of Midnight Sun. So we did. So big shout out again to Steel City for letting us do that. And we have another box, one more box of Midnight Suns and another four packs that are going to be coming in soon. So be on the lookout for more episodes coming up next week. And the only reason we did the third box is because they don't do blasters of these and the e-packs haven't come out. And I kind of want to avoid the e-pack stuff anyway. I know Blue gets into that with the Moon Knight cards, but... For me, I like holding the cards and making videos for you guys. So, first pack of our second box of Midnight Suns. Box two of three. Here we go. And if you haven't seen our shorts yet, we found some individual packs that they sell on the website at Steel City. And we've been opening those on the shorts. So please check those out because we got some hits this week. A hit, a major hit in every pack. It was pretty awesome. Major hit for us at least. Um, all right, so we got Death Rider here. This is Danny Ketch's new persona or was for a short time now he's ghost rider again but we have that we have electra i think we have a couple of these now these electras look at that blade whoa in the green that's a different art style than we've seen before different card too so that's cool yeah in the green david tosello is the artist very good i like that artwork awesome dude we got another piece of the puzzle we got Ghost Rider. So we got Ghost Rider, Blade, and Moon Knight. Those were the three ones we got. That's awesome. Talk about our luck. But we got Moon Knight, Spellcraft Stories, and Dormammu for there. So I'm going to keep the puzzle piece over to the left here. Um, that's where I'm going to put all of our hits so I can show them off at the end of the video. Um, all right. Pack number two. And I'm still going to take my time a little bit with these, but I might go a little faster. Oh, so there's Dracula. So I realized after we opened the last box that the Dracula we had was one of the um, rarer ones. Uh, it's the one by Andre Meister. So I completely blanked in the moment. I, I recognize his artwork for sure, but I just forgot it was one of those um, Ultra Shades or whatever they're called. So this is the actual Dracula card from the set. So I'm glad we got that. And we got Werewolf by Night. Very cool. All right, who's our third card? Silver Sable in the green. That's a great shot. I'm punching that guy. <laughs> she looks crazed though. Uh, she's definitely enjoying hitting that guy for sure. Um, and then we got, oh a blue Hannibal King. So if you watched our recent uh, packs, our single pack openings, we got a blue card in that one too. These are numbered out of 180, and this looks like it's card 84. So uh, yeah, very cool. 84 out of 180. Awesome. So I'm going to put that over here. And Phantom Rider. So like I said, uh, when we did the single packs, we're on our way of getting maybe a full set of these Spirits of Vengeance. So I'm going to tuck him over there too. And then we got Blade. Great shot of Blade, too. I like that one. So I think there's two Blade cards in this set, on the on the base set, I think. Um, I did take a peek at the checklist finally, but I'm, I'm still... Like, I just watched people open these uh, a couple times, and I got really into it, but um, I didn't retain a lot of that information. So it's cool. Some of these, it feels like I'm seeing them for the first time. Some of them not, though. I remember some of them. But we got Mistress Death here. Great card. Great character. And Zadkiel. Ooh, awesome with his sword, his flame sword. That's great. We got Cloak in the green. Cool. Take that. That's a Simone Bianchi. That means, and we got Dagger in green too. Ooh, we're putting them together. Whoa, a purple Hannibal King. How rare are these? What is, whoa, 14 out of 35. That is a low number card there. Dang. All right, well, we got to sleeve this one. I'm not taking any chances. Uh, and I think we got the regular uh, medallion of him, too, just the base one. So that's cool. Look at that purple. It looks 
looks good, man. All right. Uh, and then we got, oh, look at that. Vengeance and Ghost Rider and the Spellcraft Stories. And the last card, Zarathos. Cool. And yeah, look how thick these are. These cards are so awesome. They're like little canvases with pieces of art on them. I love them. I like how Fleer Ultra does them. At first, I was like, God, it seems so unnecessary to get just six cards in a pack that thick. But then, you know, we got six Moon Knight cards, and every pack of those were awesome to open. So, you know, I don't know why I thought different here, and, and I've been blown away. These and the Wolverine cards are, are just been amazing. So we do have more Midnight Suns coming, at least one more Hobby Box and four more single packs. We'll have those up next week when they come in. And we're going to have someone donated some Marvel Wolverine Fleer Ultra blaster boxes to us. So we're going to make a video on each blaster box, and you'll see those start popping up as soon as they come in the mail. So we had Hawkeye back there. We got Hellcat. Ooh, a green Spellcraft Stories. That's awesome. There's Spidey there. This is, uh, oh, this looks like House of M. Yeah, that's from House of M, I think. Really great card. Great artwork. Um, Ariel Olivetti, I think, or I believe that's the name. Dude, that is an Ultra Shade. Look at that. Andre Meister, Ultra Shade number 26 of Morbius. That is great. So the Ultra Shades are really rare. Um, there's short print ones and, and short, short print, you know, super short print ones. And those ones, if you can get three cards, so you can get like three different Morbius cards and line them all up and they make one big art piece of them. And Andre Meister was on other people's channels when these cards came out showing off his style, how he did them. He creates them digitally with like a little bit of blend of art, you know, like traditional artwork, but with a blend of digital stuff, I believe, too. And he's like a teacher. He seems like a really fascinating dude, but his artwork is sick. So to get a Dracula and a Morbius now, um, we're collecting vampires with Andre Meister's artwork on them. That's amazing. Um, another Spellcraft Stories. We have this one already, Blade and Deacon Frost. And then we end with Captain Marvel at the back of the pack. Boom. All right, pack number five. Let's see what we got in here. Do they square up? Oh, no, something is in here. I think it's one of those um, acetate-type cards. We got Ben Riley in our single pack shorts, so go watch that episode. We got a Scarlet Spider one. It's really sick looking. Um, and we got another Scarlet Spider hit in those single packs too. So we got Morgan Le Fay here. Damon Hellstrom. Our green Dracula. Very cool. We're going to sweat that card a little bit if we can. Switch over to Blackout at the back of the pack. And our Artifacts card with Hellstrom's Trident. Let's see what this hit is. Oh, no! man thing and what's up with the mist the last one we got was um victoria montesi and it was green is orange different like or is that i don't know i i probably not it's probably the same thing they probably just didn't want green mist behind a green character but dude we got ted this is so oh i'm so happy right now i'm gonna sleeve this this is so good all right ted join the family dude oh you're so awesome we're, we got to display him. That's cool looking. That's a cool hit right there. And I think those are maybe one per box. So I'm of all, again, it's one of those things where you, that can go a really bad way. You can find a character and get a character that you do not like, and you just got to suck it up and maybe trade someone and hope they like that character. But to get man thing, that's a major win for us for sure. All right. So we got Spidey hit right here. Boom. Oh, we got ultra abilities in this pack. So let's hide who it is for now. We'll go to iron fist. We got our green Mistress Death. Amazing. Oh, Jennifer K. I actually revealed it. I, was, I wasn't even paying attention. I don't know why. I forgot what I was doing. Um, I was going to switch to the last card, but that's okay. Jennifer Kale. So not a huge hit, but still really awesome. She's part of the man thing lore and stuff. So I'm, I'm into it. That's cool that we got both Jennifer Kale and we got man thing back to back. That's really cool. And the ultra abilities too. So let me sleeve this as well. And I think this will be a card we keep since she's part of the man thing universe a little bit. So kind of his storyline. So, all right, we got Scarecrow there in the spotlight, the strange tales, and we got monstrosity halfway through the box. We're making good time, a lot faster than our first one. I'm still enjoying the artwork, but I know I'm, I'm going to try to speed things up. I went uh, really overboard in that first episode, but thank you guys for indulging me and, and enjoying that episode. I hope you did enjoy that episode. Um, and please go buy some of these if you can before they start selling out because they're going to start phasing them out and move into the EPAC soon, I'm sure. So Dr. Voodoo, we got there. Demogoblin, very cool character. Morgan Le Fay in the green. 
And I think we got a medallion behind this card. Ooh, a Thor. And that looks like John Romita Jr. art on that Thor. That's cool. Yeah, man. I'm into that. I'm going to put him over here to the left. We got Strange Tales, Spider-Man. First appearance of Morbius. And look at that. We got Ted. What up, Ted? If we get him in green, that'd be awesome. Maybe Did we already? I can't remember now. All right. Pack number seven. No, wait, no. Pack number eight. Sorry. Pack number eight. That was pack number seven. All right. Square them up. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. Got Howard the Duck. Madeline Pryor. That's a great one. Actually, I forgot she was in this set. Look at that. With all the monsters around her. That's a great card, actually. That looks really good. I love her face. She's got kind of like a Joker smile slash uh, Harlequin look. Yeah, she's good. That's cool. Hey, Spidey in the green. And another medallion. Let's see who it is. Captain America. Dude, we're just going to get all the Avengers. Let's do it. Let's let's go for it. Let's get Iron Man in the next pack and Black Widow and Hawkeye. Let's just do it. Let's get them all. Um, that's cool. Good old Steve Rogers. I'll put him over there with Thor. All right, Spellcraft Stories again. Another Stephen Strange. And Scarecrow, which is another autograph card we got from the Grey Malkins. So make sure you check out Steel City Collectibles. They're the ones who sold us these cards, which is awesome. They're a great store. So please, I'll put a link down below. But also check out people on the Whatnot app, and especially the Grey Malkins, who do unboxings and box breaks and all these things. They do a great show. Very entertaining. So please go check out all of them. I'll put links down below to everybody. Um, all right, Lucas Cross. We got, ooh, Carnage. Sweet. We got one of these before, but he looks great. All right, looks like we got another medallion. Is it going to be an Avenger? I don't know. This is a good color match. Death Rider, Danny Ketch with the green. For sure. All right, let's see. We got another Avenger. Oh, no, but I'll take it. Dude, we got Sabretooth. Way to cross over into our Wolverine universe, too, since we've been unboxing those. And we're going to have more of those, like I said, coming soon with the blaster pack. So very cool. Oh, awesome. And we got Cosmic Ghost Rider for the Spirits of Vengeance and Clea Strange. All right, guys, three packs left. Let's see. I feel like we got our box hit, though, kind of, with that purple card. So, um, so yeah, So, but whatever is left is just going to be some fun. So we'll just keep having fun. Look at Noble Kale there. Wow, he looks awesome. That's a great, great piece of art. Who does this one? Brianna Mora. Big fan now. Love this. Looks awesome. Great job to Noble. Um, Dark Hole Dwarf. Another great job. Really creepy. Holding a, the envelope that was from, uh, what was that storyline? They did it where all the comic books looked like on black envelopes um, during a big crossover event in the 90s with Ghost Rider. Really cool. Dude, we got Robbie Reyes in the green. That's awesome. And another medallion. Look at this last half. Oh, what? It's magic. Oh, 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 it's magic. Dude, that's so great. Another character I'm a big fan of. I like the New Mutants and uh, Bill Sienkiewicz and all that stuff. In the, and then them including her in the Midnight Suns video game, which, by the way, I am wearing my Midnight Suns shirt <laughs> while I open these. Um, I knew they were coming in the mail today, so I wanted to be ready. So uh, awesome. I'm going to put her over here. And we got Vengeance. We may be near a full set of these now. Um, I imagine we might be, if there's nine or ten of them, we might be missing one or two. We'll see. I'll, I'll figure it out after the episode. Um, but then also Elsa Bloodstone. Okay, great, great, great. So, two packs left. Thank you all again for watching. Appreciate you being here. Let's hope. I mean, I feel like we already got some good magic. But who knows? Maybe there's a, another surprise for us in one of these packs. Uh, we'll see. Hey, we got Scarlet Spider. He, we got some cool inserts of him in the single pack. So go watch those shorts if you could, please, and check them out. See what hits we got. We got Scarlet Spider there and Johnny Blaze right behind him, watching his back. Really cool. And then we got Lucas Cross in the green and a medallion. Look at that. This whole last half here was all medallions. And look at that. We got Hella. Oh, that's cool. I like her design. Um, she's got that helmet is awesome. It's very, uh, it's very Silver Age. She looks awesome now. Um, but I'll put her over here with the other medallions. We got Spellcraft Stories. Oh, wow. Is that the New Mutants? Sure is. Um, yeah, that's cool with magic and limbo and everything. Yeah, with the Goblin Queen. Yeah, that's cool that they put that in here. Pretty much a reference to most supernatural stories from the Marvel you know, eras and stuff, which is awesome. Um, 
and Cosmic Ghost Rider. Yeah, just from the different, you know, over the years, stories. So, uh, yeah, that's why this set is just made for someone like me, for sure. If you're out there and you like the supernatural side of Marvel and you haven't bought one of these boxes yet, well, you must be like me because I'm very late to the party. But this is something you should you should definitely own, especially if you're a collector of cards or if you're looking to get into cards. I would say this is a good set to start if the supernatural stuff kind of piques your interest. Um, Baron Skullfire, Scarlet Witch, Green Hawkeye, and this is the Ghost Rider Hawkeye from the Damnation storyline, I believe. Um, so, yep, yeah, and we're Iron Fist, and yep, he got pe he got penance stared, too. Um, and look at that. Last pack, Morbius. I'll take it. I like this guy. <laughs> I mean, I know the movie wasn't great, but I still like this character. I like when he teamed up with Venom, and they did the Enemy Within storyline with Demogoblin and stuff. So, really cool. I'll take that for my last hit. Hey, and look at that. Hellfire Chain for our Artifacts card. And Daniel Drum to end out the box. So, really, really cool. We'll just go over. These are the regular cards and some of the inserts uh, that we got in that stack there. And another stack that looks a lot like that. Uh, these cards are very thick. Um, and then, as far as the hits go, we got our medallions all on one side, too. That was crazy. We got Morbius, Hella, Magic, Sabretooth, Captain America, and Thor. But then we got Jennifer Kale and the Ultra Abilities. They got Man Thing and the Hellfire. So happy about that. We got an Ultra Shade of Morbius. And we got Hannibal King in the purple. And then a couple of cards are like our numbered blue and our three by three set here. Uh, that's cool with Johnny Blaze. Can't believe the three characters we got, the first three out of these, was Moon Knight and then Blade and then now Ghost Rider. How cool is that? So now we got to aim for Scarlet Spider next and then maybe complete the whole set. So we'll see what we get in the next box. And then after that and the, you know, the next packs that we get. And then we'll go from there what singles we'll try to buy on eBay. Because we are selling stuff on eBay right now. So if you're looking for collectibles, autographs, anything like that, we're putting a lot of that stuff up on our eBay shop. So you can pick them up there if you'd like. And, uh, and we're also open for trades. Or if people just really need to complete a set, reach out to us. You know, if there's something you saw in here that would help complete something, reach out and let us know. Okay? So thank you so much for watching the episode. As always, like, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And like I said, go pick up stuff from Steel City Collectibles if you want. Link down below. And check out other streamers and other people that do this and break boxes and share their love and passion for these characters. Go visit them too. I'll put a link to the Grey Malkins for sure down below. But please, search for more of us. There's so many of us, and they make great content too. So check them out. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.